What it do, baby booze? It's your girl, Jungle Naps. And I'm here today with my July hits and misses. So I have some products that I loved and a few here and there that I did not like at all this month. <laughs> so before we get started, I just want to remind you to hit that like button and to go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below telling me which one was your favorite product. Okay, so let's jump into it. So first up, I want to show you guys the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. And this is just so beautiful. First of all, I just want to say it's got this like gorgeous mirror right here. So beautiful for your makeup application. And then uh, these are all the colors here. And I'll do like a close up for you guys so you can see. Uh, but basically, it's so gorgeous. The highlighter on it is super pretty, and so is the blush. And I just love this, like, orange color here and the brown color with uh, the gold flex called Sippy Sippy. And, you know, when you first look at it, you're like, eh, I don't know if it's, like, brown girl friendly or blah, blah, blah. And then you see it in person, and you're like, whoa, like, all right, girl, you did a good job. So props to Graveyard Girl, the Swamp Queen, for her collaboration with Tarte. I think she did an amazing job. It's just really beautiful. If you're into collecting like eyeshadow palettes, you know, that is definitely one to go for. So next up, uh, I want to talk to you guys about the Too Faced Hangover uh, RX little face primer. Yes, it's a face primer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little loopy. Um, now, I got this as a sample in my Ipsy bag. So, you know, I've seen this a lot and I just haven't gone up the balls to go and actually purchase it because I'm always like, oh, I've got so many primers. I need to use them all before I buy a new one. And I'm so happy that they sent this to me because, I mean, like, it's just so moisturizing for your skin in a way that doesn't make you feel greasy. It's made with coconut water and probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers. And it just feels like heaven on my skin. So the next two products, uh, they're also from Tarte. Now these products I got in a little like Sephora rewards, um, little like box that they give you, you know, for when you spend enough money, basically. <laughs> so this is a little like lip kit. This is a lip liner um, in the color Mood Ring right here. And this here is a lip paint. So it basically goes on like a matte lippy. And does it have a name? It's called Hungry, I think or something like that. <laughs> I'll put the names down below. But basically, they're just like so beautiful, uh, you know, for just like darker skin tones, really, really compliments, you know, uh, my skin tone. It just looks beautiful. And whenever I wear it, I always get comments from people being like, what lippy are you using? So yes, get you some of this, girlfriends. Okay, so the next one on my list is also just superbomb.com. I've been using it all of this past month. Like, I just keep reaching for it. And that is the Tartiste Contour Palette. This is the one that they did with Makeup Shayla. And it also includes shades for darker skin tones. Um, so as you can see here, the top one right here, that's the deeper contouring shade. And also they have uh, a lighter one right here, which I use. They have the two highlighters here and also here. They look beautiful. Don't, you know, be fooled by how it looks on camera. I don't think it, it really does it justice. It just looks so beautiful when applied to the skin. The blush is also gorgeous. And the banana powder, which admittedly looks very, very light. When you look at it in the pan, it's a little bit scary. But when you put it on for like baking under the eyes, it actually does some really amazing things. I think if you're my skin tone or a little bit lighter, it's really good. I haven't seen what it looks like on like very, very deep skin tones, so I can't speak to that. But I'm just gonna say that this whole palette, it's gonna save you a lot of space. 
in your, you know, little makeup travel bag or wherever you're bringing this thing. You know, it just has so many uses all in one and a great big mirror right here to, you know, do what you got to do. And it really smells so nice. Like I can't even just describe it to you. It's just, it's got a beautiful scent. And if you forget what each one is used for, they have a little thing right here. I don't think you can see it on the back, but it'll remind you basically. And the packaging is just lovely. Like I'm so proud of Shayla. She did such a wonderful job. All right, so next up, uh, I've talked about this already. This is the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. There we go. <laughs> uh, so, you know, on this end here, you've got a lot of base shades, and then you've got a lot of, you know, deep pinks, deep reds, oranges, uh, and a few browns in there. And I just love how well the shades in this palette complement each other and I think it's a great base uh, eyeshadow palette to have so that if you wanted to get a little bit more eccentric, add some bright colors, you can also use this palette to create more of a smokier tone to your eye look or also just to tone it down. It's really great for every day or like a more manageable like night look, you know? It's just really lovely. It's so pigmented, you know, as long as you top off the excess, you're not even gonna have a lot of fallout. So it's just beautiful. Colors are very, very buttery. Okay, so next up I've got the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. What I love about this is, you know, like I get some pores like right in here on my cheeks, and it does a really good job of blurring them. Now, I don't have anything really, really crazy, like large pores, so I can't say that, you know, this is like a miracle worker, but I think if you've got just really, you know, small ones that you tend to notice, or if somebody's really close to your face, they're gonna notice, this is a really good primer at just blurring that out. I think um, it's definitely worth an investment. Smashbox is particularly known for their primers, so I'm not surprised that I really like this one. All right, so next up, I've got this uh, Tartiste. It's like a clay paint liner. So this is in a golden color right here, and it's in the color bronze. So I actually got this as part of a like the gift that they give you at Sephora for spending a lot of money. And I looked at this and I was like, ah, I don't know if that's gonna be good for my skin tone, but it is beautiful. If you just do a bronze winged eyeliner, I mean, you look like a bronze Grecian goddess, okay? So it's very, very lovely. I would definitely uh, advise you guys to check this out. It's just, it's just beautiful. Nothing bad that I can say about it. All right, so I've got one more product that I loved. And if you guys saw my Sephora Play Box um, little thing, I've got this little Blotterazzi. And this is basically for absorbing any excess oil throughout the day. I think that this is just like a little lifesaver little thing. And it also came with a cleanser. So I haven't cleansed it yet, so I can't assess whether the cleanser works that well. But I did carry this with me throughout the day to, you know, just like blot my face. I think it does a really good job. Oh, and I just remembered a really good use for this is if you wear sunglasses and then when you take off your sunglasses, you get those like ugly little marks, you can use this. So to just like pat it and set your makeup back in place, it's awesome. So I would definitely advise you guys to check this out. I know that when uh, this thing gets you know old and needs to be replaced, I'm gonna purchase one for myself as well. Okay, so down to the products that I don't like. The first one is this eyeliner pencil from Mirabella. Ugh, I don't even know what they were thinking. I got this in this Ipsy bag from June, and I used it. And, you know, when you look at the little tip here, it just looks like it's going to do such an amazing job at, you know, helping you create the eyeliner wing that you want. And then you put it on and it's just like, the product doesn't even go on smoothly. It Like it's so opaque. And when you try to go back to cover those lines repeatedly to make it look darker, 
it just doesn't do a great job. And it just looks like, I feel like a kindergartner was drawing on my eyelid to try and like, you know, make a really ugly eyeliner. So <laughs> it just sounds so bad. But I'm just so mad that I have this, you know. I'm just going to have to throw this out because I can't use it, you know, for anything really. Because what's the point? If the eyeliner doesn't go on smoothly, you might as well not even make a product like this. So that was really disappointing. Um, I did not give it a very good rating on my Ipsy review. So, oh well. Okay, and the last product that... I hate it. Uh, I actually don't have because I had to return it. I hated it that much that I could not keep it for very long. <laughs> and I'll put a picture up for you guys. But basically, it is the Japanesque. Uh, it's like their dupe of the NARS brush. I forget the name, but, you know, the picture will be there for you guys. When you see this, avoid this product. Just run away from it. I saw it in Ulta. I'd heard some good things. I heard that it was a great dupe. So I bought it and it was like a $25, $26 brush for basically I wanted to use it to set, uh, use setting powder on my face. Now, as soon as I opened this product, I pulled the brush out. Oh my God. Biggest mistake of my life because as soon as I dusted it in the Laura Mercier setting powder and I touched my face, the thing started shedding. And it wasn't even just the long hairs, you know, like, oh, you know, maybe it just needed to be washed or something or it had been washed too much. Or, I don't know. It would literally just break off, like parts of the brush hair would break off as I was brushing it on my face. And for it to just come out straight out of the box and be like that, that was too much. It was already an expensive brush, you know. I can already go to Morphe and get something less expensive that's going to last me. So I was just, that was my first Japanese brush and I was so, so, so disappointed. I hated it so much that I cleaned the brush. First of all, I didn't even finish using it to set the whole face. I cleaned the brush and I had to return it. I was like, you need to get out of my life, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... If you guys had a different experience with the Japanesque brush, please, please let me know. So that's about it for my July hit and misses. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and also to subscribe. Love you guys. Bye. So first off, when you open the box, it comes just, you know, in this cute little like striped box here. And they've got this little card. And yeah. Hold me close till I get up.